Naya Ranger. Ranger of Eos was one of the wonderful gems that uh, Historic Anthology 2 brought with us directly to this format. When Ranger of Eos enters the battlefield, you may search your library for two creature cards with converted mana cost one or less, reveal them, and put them into your hand. We had played this in other shells in this format with Edgewall Innkeeper and Giant Killer to great success. And this build is also leveraging another Historic Anthology 2 card here, Dragon Master Outcast. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control six or more lands, create a 5-5 red dragon creature token with flying, which just has stellar artwork. Really love it. We have Escape to the Wilds and Beanstalk Giants here to ramp out extra mana to get to this activating ahead of schedule. And then we've got some Realm Folk Giants here as a sweeper and more adventure cards for a Dwelling Keeper. Let's go ahead and hop on into some matches here with this one and see how it goes. Uh, AOC is in the lower house, which is Cong which is the which is Congress. Pretty easy mulligan here. If this was a temple garden, I might be speculative and keep it because I'd get an extra draw while I'm on the draw, but no reason to gamble here, really. Yeah, this is great. I'm going to bottom... Um, I'm actually going to bottom the outcast so I can pick it back up with Ranger later. What problem do you think my deck has that's solved by playing Lucky Clover? And once you've identified that, what do you cut from my deck and why is that the cut? Sure. Yeah, that sounds right. Repres representatives is the right technical jargon for the lower house. I uh, I pulled pulled a Biden there and forgot forgot what words I was saying. Only it's not my job to have those types of things memorized, unlike his. If any sort of reasonable payoffs from here, are probably just gonna get run over. We believe in truth, not facts. You know, the, the thing, the lower house, the Congress. Ooh, Mystic Repeal is a great answer to Heliod, huh? Scary Frostodon sounds great. Um, Giant Killer, I think is fine here. Uh, Escape to the Wild sounds a little bit slow. One of those. I think this card, the 5-5, five is not super relevant. Mystic Mr. Grapeel is a sweet one. It notably does not take, like, Ember Cleave off the table, but that's fine. We have a couple of Cinder Vines for that. Um, I think we mulligan. Hand just doesn't really do anything. I think we keep this and hope to draw an adventure creature.
Here's our board. Our board's got some one ones on it, chat. Let's repeal that one. Easy block. Crunch. <laughs> Crunch, yeah. We'll shoot. I'm gonna jump and clean the board out here. Ranger's a great draw. Let's just clean those out. Ranger can grab Innkeeper plus, uh, plus what's his name? Plus Jack. Well, now we'll get Dub's Innkeeper, right? I just play this out and pick up a couple of cards here. I want to try and get to seven for this. Land Morals could be okay. You probably got to give up the Realm Cloak Giants if you want to go on that ang angle, but. Yeah, yeah, Ra Ranger's one of those cards that every time every time we've played it, it's just been like, wow, this is great. Uh, let's lean on this, actually. See what we find here before we commit to ramping. All right, so this game's over. I'm going to try to win game three on the draw. Yeah, dividing top would be super, super tedious. Just the number number of times people spin it. It's just like, well, that well, the game, the game wasn't already over. I'm gonna repeal your your license here. Let's tuck tuck that one away. I don't understand, Jet. Their scoreboard said thirty one. Where did they Where did they go? Come, come back, friend. Come back. You know, I'd probably rather have Lovestruck Beast on average than Dragon Master Outcast. And I'll just leave one in to search up with Ranger. Let's do, let's do that. Ooh, it got even more sneepery. 
Cause it's a sneepa keepa do 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 sneepa pa keepa pa. We are maybe dead. This primate's gonna get pretty big. They have a Helion. We'll get a little bit punished for not shocking in. Repeal, but it is what it is. Okay. So we're taking four. Down to 13. Rampaging for is going to stop the cats from getting bigger, but it doesn't stop them from killing us with how big they already are. Yeah, yeah, we needed, we needed some, some amount of interaction here before this. I'm just too slow on the draw. Play, play versus the draw, huge discrepancy in magic per usual. Game four here. Untapped land would be great here. Okay. They should ban being on the play, something like that. Okay. Uh oh, we're halfway there. Keep back. Snafu with the Twitch Prime. Welcome to Hoaglandia. Do, 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 do. This is an instant, right? I didn't make a goof. It is an instant. Sick. Red Rover, Red Rover, let the Bride Mames come over. If they attack with everything here, I'm going to eat the 4 4 and jump the 5 5, and then we'll repeal. Repeal and drop the, uh, the what's it called in the play here? They're going to be super conservative, a little bit aggressive. The add-on to see cards doesn't work on Chromebooks. That's not true. It def, it def works on Chromebooks. Chromebook, Chromebooks are literally just the Chrome web browser. Ooh, that was a good draw. That was a good draw. Yeah, yeah, trying to, like, these healer hogs are probably going to kill us. Which is sad. I mean, I'm not IT support. I'm not gonna be able to debug your issue remotely, but just as a heads up, like if you, if you want to fix it, it's not just like the extension doesn't work on Chromebooks or something wrong with your particular configuration. At your work, the extension was blocked. Wild. It must use some type of wherever it accesses the card images from must be blocked while Twitch isn't. Oh, we could have peeled the giant. Sure. Sure, you're right. There were two giants in our deck. Uh, I, I guess. He busy, 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 busy. Wonder if we should have more sweepers in our sideboard. This is like the second matchup in a row where I really wish I could board into four sweepers.
At your work, chat is blocked, but not Deckmaster. Wild. Even, even if we burn the sweet burn five here, it's just going to be too slow. Do I board in shifting ceratops? I don't have any extra removal on my sideboard. Let's, uh, I should revisit the sideboard of this deck after this, I think. Maybe some, some lava coils or something. Or baffling end even. We have white, white mana. Just some way to take things on the other side of the table off the board. This opener's great. Threats and removal. Some card advantage. I feel like it's possible that the... Uh, Escape the Wilds in the main are probably a little out of place. I kind of feel like I'd like a Scoach more interaction in the main. That's, that's pretty good. Seal Away is okay. The problem with a card like Seal Away is that it tends to not be great against um, aggressive decks because you can't always play it out on two. Hey, congrats, Zephyr. It's a great milestone. Deep Root Waters, yep. All right, am I committing more to the board and beating them down? I feel like I'm going to keep this as like a break glass in case of emergency type creature. I'm going to do this and just grab two innkeepers here and just generate a bunch of cards. Next turn we'll go fetch a white source, innkeeper, innkeeper, love truck beast, draw two. Yeah, we could also just, like, sit back and, like, beat them down and, like, make them extend to beat our current board. Could be reasonable. The trouble with that line is they don't really have to extend that much. Let's take it slow. I feel like with the amount of curry advantage we have at the bank at the moment, we can afford to pace ourselves a little bit. I have a tricky dick here. Uh, my initial thoughts, Skrylock, are 
The Escape the Wilds feel a little out of place. I feel like between Innkeeper and Ranger, we probably have enough card advantage packed in. Cleave. Cleave could be okay. We have a number of large creatures. I don't hate Domri's Ambush. I was saying I wouldn't mind having a little bit more removal in my 75. I'm going to go ahead and just play these out. Just like draw five cards next turn and be a okay. A reg, thanks for the 15 months. So they get to draw a card here. And then I have this and this versus the top of their deck. I guess they have deep root waters too here. Playing playing out the innkeepers might bite us here. I have this too, I suppose. Lord Chrissy, thanks for the brand new prime support. Welcome to Hoglandia. I think I'd probably just like step on this plus play plus play a 4-3 next turn. That's an 8th plan, right? So I can play this too now, which is great. I'd love to draw 1 mana 1-1 one, one next turn so we can fire up Love Struck Beast and then also... Also get Realm Cloak into play. We're going to do as many big attackers as possible to clear through this deep root waters. Um, that doesn't do it. We'll hold on to Giant Killer here just in case. Stupid extra point of toughness. <laughs> Nobody loves you, giant killer. Least of all, least of all the bluffstruck beast. Yeah. Maybe I should have just played this out so I could tap these. Maybe. Oh, they're being conservative with their attacks. That's good for us. If you haven't seen Historic Fish played before, we played it on stream earlier this week. Last week? It might have been last week at this point. It was sweet, though. Okay, we're at nine, and they only have... They don't quite have nine power in play, so. Here's another fatty boom. Got two lethal threats next turn. Got him under the old double abyss. And he won one's a great draw. Oh, I suppose if they drew Merfolk Trickster, they could probably tempo us out of this game, huh? There's fear in their dojo chat. Their dojo contains fear. Don't let the fear sink in. Uh...
I'm gonna go ahead and play this out. It is. Get his activated ability online for next turn. Can I get a 1 1? Alright! You love, you love to see it, chat. It's, it's 1 1, 1 1 adjacent. I think I'm happy if I boarded. Let's run it back. I don't think this is a repeal or Cinder Vines matchup, even with them having that enchantment. I mean, to be fair, they had to kill me, right? I think that attack was fine because, like, if they don't make that attack, they're going to get... They're just going to fall too far behind, but... Yeah, it is, is what it is. <laughs> yeah, they were. They were playing... I like, I like their line overall. Trying to actually win the game. In. So we get to go Love Struck Beast token on one. Innkeeper Giant Killer on two. Love Struck Beast on three. Think I want to stomp something this turn? I think we're just sticking to the plan. Offer oh, this trade that they almost assuredly won't take. Yep. Okay, no lord is good for us. Unblockable, less good. They could they could still have a lord here and they just wanted to wait a turn since they wanted to if they wanted to deploy these unblockable things first. Honestly, I think I'm okay with this trade. Like if they don't take it, I'm adding a little bit of pressure while racing. Can't block anyways. So we take six here down to seven. That is a phenomenal draw. Let's just do this now so there's no funny business. I think I just pass here. So we're dead in three at the moment, even with tapping their stuff. Okay, and that gives us an extra turn, I suppose. We're dead to, dead to a lord, but I get to stomp this 
And then in the event that they don't have it here, he says before he dies, we could tap one next turn. Rough. All right, let's take a peekaboo at some of the details here. I think I want a little bit more removal. I think I want access to four of these sweepers in the 75. I think Escape to the Wild feels a little bit clunky. I think two giants in the main is probably reasonable. I think I want the other ones out of the board here. Um, I don't actually know that I love Thalia in this format. I think, I think I'm going to cut her. As sad as that makes me a little bit. Cleave was a card that was mentioned. We have 8, 12, 15 red. Yeah, I could probably play play a couple of Cleaves. Ambush sounds good too. That's a card that's been really impressive in other decks that we played. I'd like a Scoach more interaction, I think. We've got plenty of Chunky Monkeys to uh, to leverage Ambush with. What about elves? I don't know that I really want to, want to necessarily try elves off the bat. I think I think I like the idea of Realm Cloak Giant in this deck, and rather than cut the giants to play elves, I'd rather try and play more giants and a little bit more interaction. I feel like, as far as being low to the ground goes, that doesn't really seem like the appeal of this deck. I feel like if I wanted to be a land war elf beat people down deck, I'd rather just play Grohl. Like adding, adding this kind of like mid-rangey value engine to Grohl doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense. Are there enough? Are there even enough adventure creatures for Edgewall and Keeper? I mean, if you don't think 18 adventure creatures plus another four to find them with is enough, I'd ask you what, what enough, what you think enough is. I'll put a couple of questers in the sideboard. That seems fine. Cards, cards good against uh, Fog as well out of the Nexus deck. Which again is like, in fact, I'm just going to give you a timeout because it's annoying. If you if you actually form a coherent thought instead of just shouting at the person streaming and instead of saying, are there even enough adventure creatures? If you sat down and thought about it and said, Jeff, I don't think 18 adventure creatures is enough and this is why. If you sat there and actually look at it and count and think about it, you'll probably realize that that's a silly question. Never forget, chat. We don't time you out because we're mad. It's because we're disappointed. We know that you can do better, and we want you to try and be better next time. Be, be your best you. I believe in you, chat. Am I disappointed in you asking for a timeout? Never. We time out because we care. <laughs> oh, memes. They have Disfigure in their deck? Wild. Main deck Disfigure. He should have attacked first, obviously. Curtis Slike wasn't even on my radar of things I'm supposed to care about. At least not game one. Oh, are they Yarok Field? Yeah, of course. Of course they have it, right? We play we play main deck disfigure in Yarok Field. Makes sense. So, because I don't have another 1-1, one, one, I'm going to cleave to save my 1-1 one, one here. And then we can move the cleave to Love Truck Beast next turn and attack for 12.
The command cycle would be an excellent addition to this format. If you ask me, if you ask me to pick out pick out something I wouldn't mind seeing in this format, the command the command cycle is is one I wouldn't mind seeing. Ojitai's command, Colligan's command, Jamoka's command. Let's do the two color commands. Yeah, Grawl would probably be a little bit busted with the Tarkus command, that's fair. The rest of them would be good. I'm, do I'm talking about the, the cycle of two color commands. I think I think mana confluence would be a sweet a sweet extra land in the in the format too. Someone said mystic confluence, right? Mana confluence would be. There's such a good deep list of cards I wouldn't mind seeing in this format. Yeah, the the dragon commands. That's what those are. The dragon commands. All right, what are my cuts? Do I cut bone crusher, beanstalk, or giant killer? I feel like it's beanstalk. I think I want to just put the most threats into play as quickly as possible. This is a slow threat. And honestly, it might even be right to just do this. Let's try this. Just the most haste creatures possible. Hello, oldest son. How was your movie? Good. It was good? Can I watch it? You want to put something else on? Yeah. You want another movie or do you want to watch something on Netflix? I want to watch it. On Netflix. Netflix? Okay. Um. I oh, know I pick. Okay, you can pick here. Hold on, dude. I got you. I got you, fam. Mm. Dealer's choice. This hand obviously needs a couple of lands, but it's like pretty good if it finds them, so definitely worth the keep, I think. Yeah. That's perfect. We can fetch a tap tap planes on uh on two. Oh, hold on. So drop it. That one? Okay. Love you, dude. Close the door behind you. We got a lot of really angry cards here. Love you, bud. They took Bone Crusher Giant? Really? Tezzeret Agent. Yes. Yes. Tezzeret is on the short list of incredibly sweet. Oh, that makes sense. Of incredibly sweet planeswalkers that just like did not get enough play. That one. That one's really four blue black Tez is like just del delicious. Especially with Mind Stone in this format. That would be, that would just be superb. Architect of Thought. Yeah, I think Architect of Thought is an appropriate power level planeswalker. I think that's that would be super reasonable. Um It's not working. It's it's going, dude, I promise. All right, what are we supposed to hit them with here? Is it just questing beast attack? Probably. Yeah, and then cleave next turn. I could be really aggressive and like throw this token away if I wanted. Feels not great. So, 
Drawing a land here was a reason to have cleaved last turn, kind of. Eh, I guess not strictly. Can just cleave this turn, huh? Do I cleave or do I ranger? Probably just 12 them. Now, if they were playing just like a purely linear field deck, we'd be in a good spot here. But because their deck has a lot of interaction in it, I'd be very surprised if we get to untap with cleave. Likely a Maelstrom Pulse or an Assassin's Trophy in our future. Okay, if they don't hit a green source here, they're not holding up either of those cards. Okay, you have a Field of the Dead. Yes, Yarok is blue and cannot be blo cannot block Ceratops, is correct. The, uh, the corner's been turned, chat. The cor the corner's been turned. Nice, nice sword. Yep. Yikes. We've been beaten by a beast of our own creation, chat. Oh, maybe you had something real, some real life thing pop up. That happens sometimes. Sometimes things take precedent. You cast cleave. How did you not win? It's you know, it's one of those rare moments. It's my favorite card of all time. Uh, spell stutter spray. Against turn one watery grave, I just play my one two out and start attacking. Yeah, they're uh, that hockey I hear in the background. I mean, five and six year olds are like geese, geese adjacent, basically. They are, they are geese adjacent. Untitled Goose Children. <laughs> Step on your face. They're going to make me pick up Giant Killer here, I'm sure. We'll go Shock in the Land, Beanstalk Giant, get a play in, replay the Giant Killer. It's a giant killer plus ambush to kill Tefri. Nah, I don't think so. I think it's mostly fine. Stop that. Now. Stop that now. Why can't your cats be in grad school, Cody? Hmm. 
They're pretty dumb. Wow. We need to be rude to your cats. Are they dumb or do they just not put in the effort? Asking the real questions. Have forgotten they could draw a step this. But it's not used to not used to inflicting cruel and unusual punishment. They're playing meddling mage in their deck. That's interesting. Are they more mid rangey? They have Brazen Bar or two, I suppose. Classic Heck, thank you for the half year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Meddling Mage makes me think maybe they're on fewer sweepers, but they could just be on time wipe, right? Named Lovestruck Beast, eh? Yeah, it could be a hero deck. I need a hero. Do 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 Wow, that's just rude. They're giving up their Tefri. Okay. We take those. Meddling Mage is naming Lovestruck Beast, which is over here. I'm going to go ahead and play Giant Killer out here as well. They do get to eat my 1-1 one -one now. And then I can't attack with Lovestruck Beast anymore. But then that gets rid of their other Tefri, so I think that's fine. Trying to, try to dodge, like, Time Wipe here. Second Tefri makes sense as a follow-up since they let the first one die. We need to move yes, you can still play Heart's Desire. Is a different, different card name. I'll protect you. We've got plenty of lands to go get. At least, at least we've got plenty of lands to go get. At least it wasn't a time wipe. Settle, settle down, whippersnapper. Keep up the pace. All of you people in chat thinking about settle the wreckage.
You... You all wished that settled the wreckage upon us. It's all that bad mojo you were channeling back at wherever you're at now. What's our best draw here? Ranger of Vios? We can Ranger, get double Innkeeper, draw some cards. Uh, Meddling Mage is on Lovestruck Beast. Oh, we're going to get Draw Step Thought Erasured. They could have bounced Mage and named Beanstalk Giant. That would have been a legal play for sure. Oh, Erasures I didn't keep her too. Yeah, good call. So getting double in keeper would be decidedly bad. Feels medium, man. I'm just glad they unbanned Field of the Dead in this format because, like, unbanning, unbanning Field of the Dead to give a natural predator to decks like what this opponent is playing was a very good change for the format. Mercy, mercy. Jeff, finish your whiskey or beer. Harsh but fair. Harsh but fair. Do 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 do. Do we think they have dream trawlers in their deck? I'm gonna go down to one giant killer here. I think. I think I have enough one ones that I can leave Love Struck Beast in here. Do I have do I have enough one ones to leave Love Struck Beast in? I'm not sure that I do. Ember cleaves a scotch awkward. I'm not sure one of these. Let's leave two of these in. Sometimes you want to get two adventure creature of the ranger. Hopefully, hopefully the Tefri corset this summer will feature a lot of new designs and new takes. The the Chandra corset had a good range of Chandras in it. And like three mana Chandra out of the Chandra corset was excellent. This is a mulligan with no green. Well, you know, you know. Flip walkers. I think 
No, I don't think that's an unpopular opinion at all. I think the, the flip walkers are like wildly popular. I feel like the context of that tweet really highlights the issue with Ember Cleave Marty. Like, because that, that's a mono red player saying the appropriate way to combat Ember Cleave is to win faster. So, like, the appropriate way to beat Ember Cleave is to race, race the Ember Cleave deck, right? Is basically what that tweet is saying. Yeah, flip walkers were creatures that flipped into planeswalkers. They were pretty much all excellent. Yeah, there's, there's an element of truth in that joke, though. Like most of the best ones do. Opponent binned an excellent binding here, by the way. Maybe maybe I should have brought in my... Uh, if we get a game three, we'll bring in the, uh, the one-man enchantment removal that we have. Yeah, yeah, like Grixis Bolas. Flip, Flip Nissa is one of my all-time favorite cards. Yeah, repeal. We're one land shy of Dragon Master Outcast triggering, unfortunately, right? This is six. We'll send these here and send this here. I like Kithian a lot. He's probably my favorite Goblin Piker. Oh, you know what? I should have only attacked with two because we knew they're on Settle the Wreckage. And then that would have enabled the Dragon Master Outcast. Yeah, I totes, I totes should have not... I should have sent the 4-3 at Tefri and the 1-1 one, one at them. And they kept the Dragon Master Outcast back because it means to play around Settle. We still get to cast Beanstalk Giant and maybe with Cinder Vines we're still going to get there. But I definitely could have played around that Settle and didn't. We have 8 mana here. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that just because like if I play this and they like excellence binding it, I wanna be able to get it back with Cinder Vines. Vomit. We're done here. Hopefully, hopefully they find, hopefully they find themselves some field of the dead here soon. Let's try, let's try one more, shall we? Mulligan this. These cards just like don't do anything for a while. You know, four four Dragon Master Outcast might be wrong in here. It might be ideal to like just have because like we have more virtual copies of it, right? Since Ranger of Eos can go fetch it. So like we don't need as many physical copies. Yeah, just like two to go fetch with Ranger could be fine. Oh, so I'm playing Wizards maybe? We played that yesterday and it was sweet. Just 
two outcasts for two guide mother i don't know that i, I don't know that i really want to play guide mother it's a pretty low quality card i feel like i have more than enough adventure cards in my deck to enable that theme You didn't have field in your top 40 cards two games in a row. Rough. <laughs> Today... The next, the next deck is the one and only waste not build that I that I have accepted. Hello, Daddy. Hello, oldest son. What's up? You good? I'm good. Yeah. Are you good? Yeah. You're good all the time, right? All day long. All day long. And that was bad. I oh, see that was bad. Yeah, you. Declan was bad. You see him be bad all the time? Yeah. I just, it bad me. I mean, that was bad me. Uh, oh, <laughs> no, you cannot kick Declan Brother out of town. <laughs> we like Declan, just like we like you. I think I could use the killer to like push damage here, but I think I'd rather use killer yeah. to diddle the steam can since we're so low here. What new cards? There's some cards, yep. A wall. Look. Maybe hey, you back wall, but you can't take it. You like the squirrel? Yeah. Squirrel's pretty great. I agree. Maybe, maybe, what do you think, chat? Do you like the squirrel token? The tiger too! Squirrels and tigers! Is it eagle? A bird. What's that called, Daddy? That is a cord of calling. That is a cord of calling. What does a cord of calling do? What does a cord of calling do? It does something really neat and then you lose the game immediately after. Well, you want to be so, I mean, we're technically not dead on prey. <laughs> well, a little humor for the modern players in the audience. Um, got a couple of ceratops here. Like I guess Realm Cloak Giant's okay. Dragon Master Outcast is a little bit too slow. This is probably Embercleaf probably fine for racing. I'm gonna trim a couple of Ranger views. I don't know that we really have time for that type of effect here. Opponents mostly just running us down. Yeah, this one's been a little little rough steam plugger. Anything good earlier today? The Sultai Tezzeret deck was a was a was a treat. The Sultai Tezzeret deck was a treat.
That's great. Thanks, Marty. Easy, easy retweet. Hopefully we draw an untapped land here. And then we get to Beanstalk into this draw card, he says, before he bricks and died. I guess I get to Bone Crusher Giant that at least. I got that going for us. I think I'm on the no blocks here since I have. Just like two bone crushers here ready to go. <sighs> Weird that they didn't do this last turn to attack me for two. Maybe they missed that. I'm excited to draw a Fabled Passage next turn. It's untapped. Lordy, lordy. Praise, praise be. I think we just jump block here. I think we just jump block. I don't think, like, we're pretty unlikely to win this one. I think I just want to like try and keep myself out of out of shock or whatever range. Okay, that trade up is fine with us. Yep. Okay, so we trade here and then next turn we can stop this. And you did. Final, final takeaways on this. My one thought is a lot of what we're doing is very similar to the Grohl aggro deck. And I'm not sure if what we're doing is technically better. Do I still have the Abzan Adventures in my editor here? Uh, I must have. Yeah, I do. Okay, so we had played this. And I think I liked this build I think I liked this build better as far as Ranger of Eos um, adventure creatures went. Like, in addition to Ranger having a second one-mana adventure creature to get, I felt like because this deck had access to the good interactive black cards, it wasn't just like this kind of awkward variation of Grawl. Like, we were, we were able to be... Um, we were able to be, like, more defensive and controlling with this build, whereas, like, this one, it felt it felt like what we kind of write off a lot of these decks as, where, like, this was, the deck was unable to pick a lane successfully. Like, we weren't super linear successfully, so we couldn't quite race people, but we also weren't sufficiently interactive to be able to keep ourselves alive in a lot of situations when people were racing us. So kind of, like, hit that awkward middle-of-the-road spot. All right. We are going to hit one more ad break before we close things out today. And when we get back, we are going to take a crack at this, which was a build around submission for a fan favorite card, Waste Not Here, which was printed into Arena with Historic Anthology 2. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. Thanks for hanging out today. Don't go anywhere, folks. <laughs> 